Freddie? No end of plenty of energy and endeavour, but coming up against the Saints team full of confidence and at the top of their game. Yeah, yeah they were, you know, Saints took their opportunities very well and for us it was a case of, of missed opportunities in that first half and, and that was a the game then. Once you're behind and you're trying to chase, you know, a strong forward pack and you know, it's sort of their possession told I guess, but if we take our chances it's a different game. Talk about those chances, Gloucester had 60% of uh, possession in that first half and double the amount of phases. That's something that Gloucester needs to turn into chances, you must be frustrated with the conversion rate. It is frustrating. Um, you know, I won't sit here and, and, and slag any boys off because there was a, a lot of young boys on debut today who did it exceptionally well, and, and they'll learn. You know, it's, it's Steph Reynolds and and, and Oli Thorley in, at 13 as well. They'll learn, and, and it's important that we use this for them to learn. Um, you know, even myself and, and the experienced boys, we've got to look at the performance and see where we can get better, and hopefully put it right on Tuesday and, and, and obviously on Saturday against um, Newcastle. But Franklin's Gardens is a tough place to come at any time and those young young lads that came into the team like Ollie and Steph uh, really stepped up and they impressed. Yeah, they really did and you know, like I said, it's it's easy to look in and talk about missed opportunities and where they can get better but for Ollie, especially at, at 17, to, to, to play the way he did was, was outstanding. He'll, he'll have a bright bright future hopefully at Gloucester and, and yeah, I'm sure he'll be a, a talent for the future. Captain in the side this evening for yourself, it must be a great honour for you. Yeah, it was a massive honour and you know, just just disappointed we didn't get the result. You know, I won the toss and I thought it was a good omen, but um, obviously not. But uh, yeah, it's you know for me, I love playing for Gloucester and, and to captain the side was like I said a, a huge honour and just a shame I couldn't be a winning performance. And finally, Billy coming on in uh, to replace you in that second half. A, a lovely moment for your family as well. Yeah, it is. It's a great moment to see my brother come on. It's like I say, it's just a shame it's in in a losing game because. Losing the rugby sucks pretty bad and, and you sort of struggle to take the, the positives from it when, when you lose 33-6 in a game that really you should have should have won and, or, or at least competed in. Plenty of opportunity now for Gloucester to, to, to put these results right. There's games coming thick and fast. So is the message pretty simple? Just keep the faith and uh, we're all in this together to push on? Yeah, it is. We're, we're tight -knit, a tight-knit squad and, and everyone's got a lot of respect for each other. You know, maybe we have to, to be a bit harder on each other and, and you know... Yeah, just, just, just get better, make sure we learn and, and get better. The, the squad, we're the only boys who can get ourselves out of it and, and that's the, the intention with, with two home games coming up. So it's going to be tough, but, but we can get there. Freddie, thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you.